Hello everybody and welcome back to Ravita 1.0. We are jumping in again for another episode. In the last one, we managed to beat our first run and we unlocked ourselves an item and the soul meter and a few other different things. Highly recommend you go and check that episode out first if you don't know what Ravita is. But essentially, this is a fantastic new roguelite that just left early access with the entire mechanics of the game revolving around risk reward and trading your HP. I absolutely love it. And we're going to be jumping in to our first shard. This is the difficulty system of the game. Like Ascension from Slayer the Spire, each time we win, we can up the difficulty using various modifiers. Shard 1 is going to mean that we start with slightly lower HP. So let's just jump on in. We're still using the regular pistol and we started this time with slime ball. Bullets bounce off walls once. So as we can see here, we get one bounce. So if we can increase our range, that is going to be very valuable. Uh, ooh, the statues here again. I was talking about these statues in the last episode. I still don't know what they do. Um, I think they're decorative. I honestly do, but they're new. I know that. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, so we've got the secret room here. Nice. And we get ourselves a key right off the bat. It's fantastic. We found our secret room as well early, which is great. We'll grab that. We've actually got the hive here. This little hive, you can find a few of these throughout the first floor. This is how you access the first secret floor. I've never been to the secret floor myself. Maybe this episode we will try to do that. Because like I said, I've never been there. Uh, obviously, if you can't tell already, it's bee themed. But that's all I really know about it. <laughs> Not much else other than that. Probably should have tried to look for the other secret room here as well. But I'm a silly goose. I'm a silly goose. But yeah, we need to try and recover. Um, ooh, I just realized it's going to be really hard to find the second secret room with bouncy shots, right? Yeah, I don't... There's not really much way of knowing. <laughs> but yeah, we get to recover this first HP to make back up for it. But that shouldn't be too tough. We also get this now. We upgraded to add soul light, soul lanterns to the start of this area. Your bullets have a chance to charm enemies. Increase your range while not holding down the fire button. Your bullets range is increased immensely. Let's give that a go, shall we? That's definitely a new item. Oh, damn, yeah. So, here we'll do that, but then if we tap shoot... Ah, so if we go... Basically, as soon as we fire our next bullet... Ah, that's kind of interesting. As soon as we fire our next bullet, the previous one disappears. Or can. Okay, I like that. I like that. That's an interesting idea for an item. But yeah, now if we get like a lot of damage, we can tap shoot from a distance to hit enemies with bouncy bullets. I think that's going to be very valuable. Very valuable indeed. I didn't look for secret rooms again. I'm not, Honestly, I'm not that good at finding them, so I won't always end up finding them. But I'll try to when I can. What we need next really is piercing. There is an item that gives piercing. I don't know if I have it unlocked yet. Honestly, I forget which items are unlocked and which ones are, like, default. So, forgive me. I will try my best to remember. And like I said, I'll try and describe what I see as I come across it. For me, I'm, I'm still pretty new at this game also. Opening a bid chest spawns one pickup. Ooh. I, this is incredibly risky because it puts us on half a heart, but I'm going to take that. I feel like later in the game, if we can survive, that'll pay. That will pay off hugely. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh, we'll quick restart on that one. Yep, so... <laughs> that's Revita for you. Um, I made a mistake there. I jumped the wrong way. But there's going to be a lot of deaths in this series. A lot and a lot of deaths. Honestly, I like the range thing and the bouncy bullets. I really wish I hadn't lost the bouncy bullets, but... Um, it's going to be a problem for me to try and keep that going anyways. Like I said, we'll try and go B4 if we can remember to. Good, good. Take you out. We've got our... Uh... Ooh, this is actually a new NPC unlock. Awesome. Are you willing to listen? Of course I am. Who's it going to be? I don't know if it's like a specific order or a random order to when you get the NPCs. Oh, these guys. Great. These are how we can um, use to remove items from ourselves in order to get free upgrades um, at the metro between areas. Do you think you could get us out of here? My arms are starting to hurt and my brother smells. <laughs> There you go. So we'll see those later on in this run, actually. And I'll explain in a little more in depth what exactly they do. But they're very useful. These little grass enemies are an absolute pain, but I got them. Adding the enemy outlines on is, in the accessibility options, 
Huge bonus, by the way. Huge bonus. Found our second secret room here. Nice. And we get a full heart. Lovely. That'll actually tip us over into partial heart container for the next one. We've already recovered the heart we were missing, and we've got a little extra. So what we're going to get this time round, longer iframes, your bullets have a chance to electrify, all but all that blocks enemies, your bullets pierce, we're taking the piercing. It's risky, but piercing is fantastic. Again, I think first floor is really one of your, where you want to play risky. Ooh, also piercing shots now have triangle projectiles, that's new. Keep you alive a second, that's the secret room. And heal up. So we're going to have to heal up quite a lot here, but we'll try our best. We'll also look for the hive in here. There it is. There's always one in the secret room. And the, there's, there's always one at the very end of the stage. And the other one, I think, just appears randomly towards the last few, few areas of the stage. But yeah, piercing is incredible in this game. So very much happy to have that. And we got ourselves a prison key. Nice. More things to unlock. I'll check our shop, but I doubt I'll be buying anything on this HP. Unless it's too good of an offer to pass up. Increased range and damage. It's too good of an offer to pass up. I would... Do you know what? I'm taking that too. We're now, we're now at one arm and no health. We've now got five keys as well. I'm playing really risky right now. But I think... As you guys know, I'm pretty much a gambler when it comes to any risk reward in roguelike. So this game... I die a lot in this game due to that. But I can't help myself. I just can't. It's too tempting. So fun. So th there's our next hive. We can destroy that. I don't know if you... I just want to say, I don't know if you can make it up here. You definitely can make it up here. Careful of that, dude. Got him. More Healy Healies. Hopefully we can get a Flawless here as well. That would help out a lot. And take these fellas out. Good, good, good. We're doing really well so far, I think, despite having an early loss. We've actually got a much better run going on here than we had before. We're cracking here. We've got so many keys as well. Another heal. As long as we've got armor, I'm okay going down to low health. And we get another rare item early on, which is awesome. This is something new. Your bullets split into multiple shortly after being fired. That sounds awesome, but it is cursed. Let's see what the curse ends up being. Enemies might have damaging auras around them. That's not too bad of a curse. There's a few really evil curses. This is incredible with piercing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this run. This run's good. I really hope I don't die in the boss here, but this run is good. I don't know if I want to go to the B floor now, actually, knowing how good this run is. Like, look at the damage. Look at the damage. Look at the damage we're doing. Because we're piercing the bullets. The bullets are splitting inside the boss. This is nuts. There's the flawless. Beautiful. Oh, I'm excited for this run at the moment. I'm excited for it. This has got some crazy potential. And there's the memento. I will heal this time. I might trade away some, some of my uh, max HP here. <sighs> I could go B floor. Let's do it. Let's just let's just risk it. Let's just risk it. Ooh, there you go. So we got our buddies here. But first of all, let's just go over here. These are our little fellas we just unlocked. Essentially, with these guys, we can destroy an item in order to get a forge hammer, which can be used at this guy to get a free upgrade. Unfortunately, I don't have any items I want to destroy at the moment. Um, I'm going hard on that. Hard. Yeah, that's going to be strong. I might die due to doing that. By the way, you can also see we now have a combo meter. The more kills we get in a row and the more soul we get, the, the higher that gets. That means every soul is going to give us two times. But we are now on a floor that I've never been to. <laughs> So I don't know what to expect enemy-wise here. One moment. Okay, we're back. Yeah, I don't know what to expect enemy-wise, as in, like, I don't know what the enemies are actually going to do. we got a cursed enemy there. Got a drill dude here. That's a lot of soul. Holy hell. There's a frozen door here? Hmm. That's new. 
I don't know if that's specific to this floor. As I said, I've never been to this floor before. Holy hell, this is so strong. We are getting all the soul right now. Lots of soul. Beautiful. We got our mini chest here as well, or hopefully a mini chest. Nah, it's just damage up. That's still good though. Don't know what that is in the middle there. That's just decorative. Looked like I could interact with it, maybe. Whoa, this is different. Um, shows you where to expect special rooms. I, I'll, I'll take that because it's blessed. Does that not cost anything? That's just a, that's just a free item. Okay. Okay, so the, the, this floor definitely has some, some significant benefits then. Okay. Ah, diggity damn. And a shield as well. This is so good. So, so good. This run is nuts. Basically, if we can hit them at the point where it splits, we do a ton of damage. I don't know what any of the enemies, enemies do. Oh, God. Did not mean to get hit there, obviously. It's okay, though. We're getting so, like, crazy. As long as we don't lose all of our shields. I'll even go through here and get an item, I think. What you got for us? Bosses drop extra pickups. Nice. That's pretty good. I think that's a new item for this update as well. 1.0. Oh, yeah, this is this is craziness. Oh, th those traps are just like literal honey blocks that slow you down. Look. Ah, oh, that's cool. Do they let you jump in them? Oh, they do. They do. You can jump in them. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to. Is there another chest room coming up? Or is that just another treasure room? Because we've got the map now that shows us what's coming up. Trying to get all the soul I can. I think we should be able to get up to map. Ah, yeah, not quite, not quite. Right. Yeah, this is another chest room, damn. It's nuts how strong I am right now. That's crazy. Two chests on one floor. Okay, B floor is real good. It kind of scares me for the boss now. Increased damage when on low HP. Unfortunately, not very good for us, but remember, bad items aren't bad anymore because we can get free upgrades out of them, which is pretty awesome for us. You. That it for the okay, that's it for that room. Okay, this is the boss. We also get a curse chest. I really hope we don't get destroyed relics. There's a destroy relics curse. So if we could end up losing our fireworks thing here. What does this item do? I didn't even check. Choose one extra bullet while at full HP. Okay, that's also really good. Well, I guarantee, now that I've said it, we're going to lose the firework item. And it's going to ruin our synergy. That would be very sad. So I, I really don't know what to expect with this boss. I'm just going to keep my distance. I've got a lot of damage. I got hit already, but I got hit again. To be expected, though. Ooh, okay. This, this boss has some crazy attack patterns, I see. But we killed him very quickly. Please don't take away my firework item. Please don't take away my firework item. I would be so upset. I know it's going to take it. I already know it's going to take it. God damn it. Right, is there any secrets over here? Oh, there is. There's another one of these, these locks. I don't know how we acquire these keys. Oh, oh, we get to choose. Okay. Uh, I'll just remove that. Okay, thank God. Oh, hello. This is new. Um, Chance for a second soul to spawn. Make sure resistant to spikes and ice. I'm going to go for chance for an extra soul to spawn. Hello. Welcome, welcome. 
No disrespect, but you seem awfully young for someone with such a refined taste. I don't know how you come to be such a, such a keen eye, but I'm here for it. Nice. Okay, I like the B floor. The B floor seems to have very, very different mechanics to the other floors. And I, I, I'm all in for that. All in. Ow, there were some spikes there. Should have taken the immunity to spike, shouldn't I? It's okay, the extra chance for soul to spawn. So what, what does this do? Shrine of Swiftness. Yes. Did that just give us a movement speed bonus? I think that just... Yeah, no, it didn't. What? I don't know what that gave us. Maybe it was attack speed? Fire rate? I don't, I, I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't looking at my stats. But yeah, on this floor, we are going to clean house. Beautiful. We're going to get so much soul. Our soul meter's really high up there as well. Right, let's start actually looking for secret rooms now as well. Oh, the damaging aura got me there. Chest room, nice. Extra damage. Beautiful. And the statue once again. Increased chance to find shields and gives you one extra shield. Your bullets have a chance to poison. Increase damage by a lot, but reduce your max HP to one. Also cursed. Let's just go with that for now. It also gave us a shield. I think because it gives us a shield, it's well worth it. Nice. More Healy Healies and another one of these um, loot rooms with another shield. Beautiful. This is a cool run. It's icy, so it's cool runnings. Got him. And another shield. Okay, this is getting kind of ridiculous. Almost back up to regular HP already. Okay, got a secret room there. Nice. Managed to find that just in time. Another shield. Okay, this item's cracked. It's given me so many shields. Bunch more soul. That's a lot of soul. There you go. Up to a full heart container once again. This is so fun. This is such a cool little build we got going here. Thank you. Chest room. Yes, please. With all the shields we've got, I'm definitely going for the chests. What are you going to give us? What the hell's that? Bullets that come in contact. Tend Ooh, this is like an orbital that we can pass stuff through to tend to fire bullets. Nice. Good, good. We've got our shop. I'll, I'll, even though I've not got any keys, I'll check the shop. I think it will sell us a key. There's a key. And spawn some souls on getting hit. Not that good. That wasn't really worth it. We ended up just trading HP for no reason really there, but... I don't know. It might give you a lot of soul. I don't know how much it gives. It said two, I think. Right, so let's try and flawless this guy. Uh, like I said, I'm not the best at flawlessing this dude, but I can. The wiggly bullets always get me. Dude, I'm so bad at that attack. I always dodge at the wrong time. It's not even that hard. The, th the funny thing is I always manage to dodge all the remaining ones. It's just the first one that always hits me. Still, we got a few keys out of that. Can heal up as well. And we might be able to get rid of a few items. We've got a few items we don't need here. Okay, they did appear. Sometimes they don't appear. 
Um, yeah, let's let's get rid of that because we're not using it, and get rid of. Oh, you can only recycle one thing now. Normally, you could recycle loads. There's only one now, though. Interesting change. So we can go for fi an extra five percent range and damage. We can go for extra chance for soul spawn, extra shield chance. I think we go for the extra chance for soul spawn. Yeah, let's let's leave it at that and be on our way. Okay, on to the harder floors now. Yeah, I'm gonna try and go to the um, the thingy floor a little more. What do these guys do? God damn, that kind of scared me. Um. I'm going to try and go to that honey floor a little more often, because that seems really useful. Like, it, it wasn't too much harder, but then again, I've got a cracked build, and I gained quite a lot from it. It might actually be significantly harder, and I'm just on a really, really good run right now. More shields. Holy hell. So that's actually an achievement for getting full shields, but... Well, let's go through walls. Increase the chance to find a pickup after clearing a room. Increase the chance for a critical hit to occur. Reduce your shot speed by a lot and your bullets are bound together by an electrical chain. Yes. Oh. Oh. We got tech zero, baby. That's a bit nutty. That's, that's a bit nutty, that is. Now, there's no point going to that chest room unless we just want to spend a key for some soul because, um... We don't have enough to actually buy the chest, so I'm just going to leave that for now. Bit of a shame, but here's what it is. I, this is insane. The damage on this is nuts. The shot speeds are, like, very, very slow, I will say that. But then again, it does balance it out, and it makes it even easier to hit things, I suppose. So. I, I, I picked up way too much soul then. Really? Oh, I'm getting hit a lot for no reason. Dude, 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 stop getting hit by these shitheads. I didn't realize they aimed at you. I thought they just aimlessly shot. Turns out they do indeed aim at you. So I lost like two pieces of armor there for no reason. It's fine. And I lost a lot of my meter. Shop? I will check out the shop. I reckon depression is... I probably still work flawless in, but I reckon he's about to get done. Destroyed. Orbital that is. Um, ah, no, I'll leave that for now. Okay, depression, it's time. Yeah, I think he's about to get absolutely annihilated. Damn it! I didn't touch the wall. Yeah, he did get annihilated. I unfortunately still got hit, but... I don't fall as depression very often. I'm fine with it. I've come to terms with it now. Let's keep this trainer going. Yeah, this is, this is a pretty wacky setup we got right now. So, okay, so now, I think they appear every floor, but you can only use it once per floor now. I honestly think the Tiki Torch isn't that good. I'm going to get rid. And we're going to... That's just a 5% damage upgrade. We might as well go for 5% damage and range. Keep on going. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is just nuts. Okay, hopefully we can build up some HP this floor because we do need to get a lot of it to beat the boss. Yeah. Unfortunately, not much I could do about being hit there. But we've got armor at the minute, so maybe just getting more armor would be a good shout for us right now. Half heart's also nice. 
There's the armor we're looking for. Beautiful. If I can fill up that extra heart container, I'll feel pretty confident, I think. And it looks like we're probably going to be able to do that. I, I, I probably won't take anything from you. Yeah. I'm not going to take anything from there. The question is, do I now take the curse chest or do I leave it? Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't realize they, them bullets would go through the floor for some reason, even though that's obviously wood. But is that, it's only an armor hit. It's only an armor hit. Armor's there to protect our health right now. Good. Chest room. Yeah, I'm going to do it, but I'm only going to do it to, uh, to destroy the chest. Oh, wait. No, it's a rare item. I'll take it. Summons an orbital fireball around the player upon defeating an enemy. Unfortunately, that's actually pretty trash for the boss because he doesn't spawn any minions. Good. There's another speed shrine over there. Shop, I don't need you. Oh my god. <laughs> Just the sheer amount of craziness in this run. They can jump over this, so I gotta be careful. We're getting like. Uh, this doll's here again. We get like half a heart every single room, though. My god. Oh, we're at full HP, so we're firing twice the shots. Holy shit. I forgot about that. Okay, so this is the boss. So we don't we didn't quite get there. We were very close. I I'll take this. The curse could end up being really problematic, but I'll take it anyways. Ah, oh, no, it didn't. It was a higher chance for mimics to appear. Make sure immune to enemy knockback and gives you one shield. Yes, the one shield is so clutch. I think we've got this. The damage output we've got right now, especially while at full HP, should be redonkulous. And he has to get through all our shields before we're not at full HP, because we're firing double the shots right now. Oh my god. He did hit me, but... Oh my lord. <laughs> this is insane. The damage. The sheer damage. It's time for acceptance. He's a bit of a smaller target, so this isn't going to be as effective, but... And he's also got new attacks now that I still don't really know very well. Damn it, I'm really bad at this laser attack. Honestly, I'm just kind of damage tanking at this point. Okay, he can, he can get shoot bounty shots as well. Oh my lord. I'm so bad at that attack. You're dead, dude. You're dead. <laughs> oh, another win. Beautiful. Boom. Shoot him right through the head. Get our next shard. What's this? No matter how high I climb, the dull ache in my head never entirely goes away, even as I reach the top of the tower. From the only balcony, I stare down at the world below, waiting for the oblivion that I am owed. I wait for hours, maybe even days. It never comes. And we sit in our seat once more, accept our fate. And we unlocked another secret, rifts. Nice, the rifts are really cool. So. Hey, kid. How's the gun treating you? Is it meeting your needs, or do you feel like it locks... Locks the what? <laughs> uh, lacks the oomph. Uh, not locks. Lacks the oomph you're looking for. Ah, we can go down the staircase now, so... First of all, we can take a little look at this dude. Two new items unlocked there. 
I'm surprised we're like unlocking items so slowly. Before I unlocked them a lot quicker than this. Maybe they changed how you unlock things or the speed at which you unlock things. You can go and talk to this guy. Do you see that slumbering tree? It's blossoming. I don't know what you're doing, but whatever it is, keep doing it. Could I trouble you to check the tree from time to time? It'll even reward you when the flower blooms. Rewards can be a bit random in this place, but I'm sure you'll put them to whatever use you can. Okay. Look, child, another flower. Aren't they lovely? And for you, a gift. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that's the sort of unlocks I was looking for. My god. Got a few keys here, boys. A few keys. And we get some hats as well, which seems to be based on the bosses, which is pretty cool. Pouch of toys. Beautiful. We'll check out you. Recycler tickets are pretty good. Um, the Capatron's pretty good too. Observatory room is something we need. They're really useful. Um, I, I've never used recycling in my entire life, so I'm not too bothered about that. Right, let's quickly go and check out the other room, and then we'll come back to that. This is the guy that sells us weaponry. Hey kid, I'm the target dummy here to help you test anything everything in the army to improve your aim. I might take a beating along the way, but it does don't feel bad if that's what I'm here for. I can take it. So we've got the machine gun or the shotgun. Now the shotgun is so good. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hey, uh, long time no see. Bet you didn't expect to find us here. When things are slow back at the metro, we come here to trade soul coins and materials. Oh, that's really cool. Nice. That's really cool. Okay, so let's grab ourselves the shotgun. Do you know what? I'll grab the machine gun as well. I'm going to use the shotgun for the next run because I love the shotgun. The shotgun's my favorite gun in the game so far. Oh, we've got some new hats here as well. These are just the, the ones that we got for killing the bosses somewhere. There we are. I'm not going to put any of them on yet now. Um, let's pop in here. Hello again. Another flower. Mini missile. Right. So, what do we want? So, tickets are real good. I really like tickets. I think we should go tickets. And just to get out of the way, let's do recycle as well. Tickets are basically... You find tickets that you can modify your run with. So you can get, like, lower your starting HP, but you get an item to start. They're really useful. Really useful. Anyhow, let's uh, quickly buy some items for the next run and we'll end off the episode. Hello, sir. A lot of items to unlock, as you can see. 193 here. And I'm sure there's even more after that, too. So, we can take two of these in with us, but only two. Let's take... Hmm. Bees in a bottle. And morals. Oh, wait. Didn't Alexa use this one? I, th I think someone told me about Alexa using morals in a recent run. Anyhow, we're going to jump into the next run in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.